Morning guys, how you doing today? I am still up to my elbows in boxes and books and um, organization, but uh, last night after things calmed down a little bit, I decided to um, pull out something that I've been wanting to do for a while. When I was online, I was looking at, um, oh by the way, hi this is Dawn from Let's Make a Mess today. And um, let's make a mess all the time, I should say. <laughs> but anyway, um, okay. And, and, and right on cue, here comes Gray. Go on, Gray. So anyway, last night I decided to do something that I've been wanting to do. I When I was making those flowers, I found this online. And it's egg cartons. And then they, um, what did it say? Cut out of circles from your lid of your egg carton. Base coat with one or two layers of acrylic paint and let dry. Well, I didn't do that. I just went ahead and I cut some out. And I, um, the, this egg carton was cool because don't they look like buttons? And they actually look like buttons. And then I tried to cut out just a few, few regular, I think if I hold it up like, oh, wow. Hold on. I'm trying to, okay, Gracie's in the way again. Can you see that? She's in the, in the light because she's I'm going to try to make that there. See? Is that too close? I don't know. I'm going to try to make it better so you can see things when I'm showing it. Okay, you need to move it, girl. All right, coffee break. She's Let's take a sip of coffee, guys. We got company. Holy cow. <laughs> sit down. Just sit there. Sit. Sit down. Sit down and watch. Grizzy, you're really... You need to stop. <laughs> you really do. I'm going to make a um, thing called Bitty Gracie Show. So I have no idea what I'm going to do with these. These, I tried to stick them in a hole punch, but yeah, they're um, too too wide to go through. So I ended up just making a circle like so and cutting around it. And I'll do a couple of those. And I used these scissors for that, for this um, project, because they're little nippers. And they're really good when it comes to nipping things. So, anyway, so yeah, there's a couple of little round buttons. But I'll do more of those later, but I did want to show you how to do this one. So cut these out the best way you can from the um, egg carton. And the thing about these is if you go right around, if you try to cut it like this, it didn't work. It ruined them. So I started just swirling, I guess, side side winding my way into it. I'll just show you one. And I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but I'm kind of going off to the side. I'm kind of like sidewind. I don't know. Sidewinding? I don't even know if that's... That's a snake, isn't it? A sidewinder? But anyway, so if I did this, then it seemed to work better. But then you can kind of see where it's a little, still a little bit too much of a lip. And you just go sideways. I don't know if you can kind of tell what I'm doing. I'm just holding the, holding the blade like that and cutting them like that. And it just seemed to cut these little buttons out perfectly. Let's do another one. First cut off most of the carton to get your, um, get it going. Note to self, don't save any of this carton. I don't want it. I am telling you, I have learned so much this last, um, this weekend about, um, Hoarding. Let's just call it what it is. I have been a hoarder the last two years. And it doesn't bode well with who I am because I'm not a hoarder. I'm a... More like my kid gets mad because I throw too much stuff away all the time. And um, she gets really angry with me. But this is, this is something that I can't... I actually can't even believe I let it get as bad as it did. I probably... I'll share a video later if I haven't already. But there. So that's how you do that. And then you, I just gessoed them. So there they are. Those are ready. Um, so uh, I'm not going to gesso these. Let's see what happens if you don't. Let's not gesso these either and see what happens if you don't. Let me just cut this one really quick. Just to get it off my desk and out of the way. Oh, and you know what? These are going to be for some more little round buttons, but I don't think I want to make that many. So I'm going to toss these. Toss those. And if I want more, I always buy eggs, right? There's no need to save that. You guys, I'm going to be like 
your worst nightmare when it comes to throwing out stash, probably. But that's okay. We don't really need to save all this stuff. Just think about what we pay for our mortgages and for our rent. Do we really want to spend that money um, to... Uh, if you don't have space, that is. If you have a craft room, more power to you. Because then I'm sure you have, like, you know, beautiful uh, organizational, you know, things. But, you know, m most of the people I know don't. And so I think that I've learned it's, um, it's better for me personally to not have that clutter because it's making me stress stressing me out um so i did a one pass and I, i've got more to do so um so what should i do with these what colors i mean i don't know if i want to go just bright maybe i'll go um i don't know maybe these will end up like a flower somewhere look at that that's cute right a little flower some, somewhere so i'm just going to treat these like just little elements i'm not sure what i'm going to do with them um, and, um, uh, just, I'm going to paint them. Just, this is just giving us an opportunity to chat and I'll be right back. I'm going to grab some colors to chat and to, um, to just, let's do one kind of a couple of like in this color and that pretty, and then do another one in maybe a red fashion. Like red, I'm telling you what. Oh, that's pretty. That's that's pretty. So let's do that. That's more orange. -y. I'm telling you what. It's easier to get to my stuff. I don't know if it's because it's daytime and I can actually see what I'm doing or not. But and then I'm gonna um mod podge. So it's gonna take me a while to find out find where everything is gone though. Tell you that. Um, we, I did a lot of purging of a lot of stuff, and now I'm like, okay, so where is everything? So we're gonna use this telephone paper, book paper. Am I gonna be sorry? Because like right now, I don't know where my paper is that I should be laying this on, isn't it? Here we go, and. Uh, you know, usually I would say not my circus, not my monkeys, but it's totally my circus and they're totally my monkeys. And here comes one of my monkeys now. Okay, go on through, monk. Oh boy, that cat. I hope you guys don't mind it. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Crazy. You know, it's funny, but I'm sure everybody's going to get annoyed eventually. Like, look at this, you guys. Look. Here. Like, she's... <laughs> like, really? Come here. Say hi to your fans. Hi, everybody. <laughs> okay, move it, sister. Oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm not kidding you. Go on. Find a spot. <laughs> Sorry about that. I know it's funny for about a minute, and then it's not so funny anymore, is it? All right, I think these are kind of big for that, so I'm going to get a smaller, not much, but a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller. Oh, this one's good. Oh, look at that. Come on, shoot. I don't know about her. Hey, I know where my rags are, though. Right here. So yeah, I don't know. Should I put buttons in these? Should I um, um, just put the buttonholes in with um, uh, okay, that's enough. Now you're making me really good. Just, you're just going to have to get down. <laughs> Alright, I'm not going to let that happen again. Sorry. I think these two colors and these two colors. Wait, that color. Let's see. I guess it's going to have to go like that because that would look weird at either one of those. So, so let's start with the darker ones. Actually, this would look good. You know, I don't know. I kind of want to throw that in there, though. Let's start with this. And why do I think I'm using two? I don't know why I think I'm using four colors on these. Whatever. 
and we'll see you in my earmark later. Can you see me? Okay. So after I'm done with this, I have to uh, go through a binder that was my daughter's um, binder that we used um, when she was looking for colleges. And again, I know I'm going to, I know I'm going to uh, share that story with you, but probably not right this second. And, um, this is really ugly. Yeah, this isn't working out, is it? Now that I've hidden everything, I don't know where everything is. This will work. not ugly, but it's in the same family. We'll use that as a, I don't know what we'll use it as, as a, as that. Can you see? Okay, here's that again. I found a piece of paper, and I'm just going to use it as a, um, kind of a, like a palette, if you will. So, uh, this is what happens when you just want to paint and you um, are still unorganized. So, I'm just going to just slop some in the center here. I'm normally not going to be too precious and careful. Let's do, let's see how many do we have? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Oh, here, let's do a couple of these, too. Let's just paint this really quick. Let's see how that paint takes it. See, I think it's better with gesso already, but I guess it might not. I just figured, since it was egg carton, that's kind of like, isn't that like handmade paper where it's just all water and pulp kind of thing? You know? I kind of just thought that. So I figured it would really soak it up. So anyway, today I'm off. It's my birthday. I've said that a couple times. I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing about it, but I'm, um, I don't normally take it off. I don't really make a deal about it like that, but I really knew that I was going to be doing the cleaning today, this weekend and that, um, uh, it wasn't going to be done and I'm, I'm far from done. I took some magazines down to the recycle bin this morning. Dropped them off, went to the market, picked up some cat food for Breezy because she was like, are you kidding me? Feed me. She was down to wet food only. I'm doing this kind of, I don't care that it's like that because I think it'll just look more natural. I don't want a perfect round circle in the middle. I don't I don't like perfection, you know. And I don't have to worry about finding it. <laughs> so, you know, not, <laughs> not too worried about it. Probably could pick, could have picked a better, a uh, smaller brush. But again, why am I doing all this color? I don't know. So I have to stop. Okay, let's pick, let's pick this dark color. I'm not doing anything like I thought I was going to do, but I'm not too, too terribly worried about it. I never do. Do I? Let's turn. That's a pretty color, isn't it? So yeah, I had to stop and do something, even if it was wrong, you know, because I just needed to get on into some paint. That's addictive, isn't it? Totally addictive. It's an addictive little hobby. I like. Me likey. can't believe I just said that. I said that a couple times. How annoying. <clears throat> I could actually be putting these I'm, I'm pulling out way too much paint like you know okay I'm trying to think what else is going on um so I went to the market refreshed some things today already after I dumped off the uh 
Um, <sighs> magazines. Now I have a boatload of books. And I really don't know how to what, how to deal. You know, I have to take those. I'm really not digging this brush. I mean, I, I think I could do a little bit better with a smaller brush. Let's try a smaller brush, just for kids. Let's just try a smaller brush. There we go. This is probably way better. I don't mind the messy look, and that's fine, but I think I'm just using too much paint up or something. Okay. Did I do... I did purple, and I did this. Did I do this? Yeah, I just didn't do too many, so I've done all these. Okay, let me do a few more like this color. That's better. Hollow. Well, you know, what happens when you have a good brush? Boy, I'm stupid sometimes. Yeah. A little moronic. It's like me trying to uh, make a soup. If I deviate, it's, it sucks. <laughs> Don't deviate from the soup recipe or the baking hello that's that's like dangerous because baking is so it's almost scientific you know but just be glad this is just pure. I might hate the ones that I did the, this way and I might not I don't think I will I'm not a perfectionist by any stretch of the imagination I've already said that let's do a couple more like this yeah this is actually better I mean I don't mind messy but that, that other one was a little too messy, right? And so. I gotta get busy. I've got a flow I gotta get out. And I'm working on some tags for another. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do all week long. I'm gonna work on, I'm gonna get that. I'm just gonna work on um, responsibility crafts, I call it. Because once you commit to doing a um, swap, you need to fulfill that um, that promise. You know, people have gone out of their way to fulfill it for you, so I feel very obligated, and, and I'm happy to do it, but I just would hate it. Like, well, let, let's say I got sick. So I'm, like, done. Once I get the swap, I'm, like, I'm almost done immediately, and it kind of... I'm still sitting... I've been done... I get done so soon because I get so scared that what if I get sick and I can't do it? So I get it done like as quick as I can. That's pretty, right? Isn't it really dark? Can you guys see that? I'm going to leave it just like that in the middle to see how that works. Because coming over here, it's too glary, I think. So, I don't know. I'm going to try just like that and see what happens. Holding it up. So when I go over the video, I can see what's going on. Anyway. So yeah, that's why I, if I seem like I'm rushy sometimes, it's because I'm scared. Like right now, I'm really scared because I woke up this morning and I was like, oh, I don't feel good. I've got to get this done, this house done, um, before it hits the fan. You guys know you're 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 all in the same kind of boat as I am. We all got something, right? We all have something that we have to deal with, you know. But I'll tell you when <laughs> when I when when I had colitis, what happened was is um, things were getting really weird in um, my tummy department, right? And I thought, what is going on? And I tried to ignore it. First, I thought, okay, I'm allergic to beef, so I stopped eating beef, and I got a little bit. Okay, I'm allergic to gluten, so I stopped eating gluten. But and I did, I got a little better. Then I thought, well, and then then it happened again. I go, well, I'm allergic to dairy, so I stopped eating dairy, which really, really actually helped a lot. And actually, stopping the gluten helped a lot too. But it came back. Sometimes things just don't go away. You just need medicine. Period. And I thought, oh, I can't eat grapes, and I can't eat this, and I can't eat popcorn, and I can't eat that. And so I was like, but why can't I? Something's really going on. So I took myself in for the dreaded colonoscopy, right? And, um, I know, TMI, but hey, just deal, because I know that you're all in my age bracket, and it's cool. So, um, yeah, did the colonoscopy, and I woke up, and, and I, they said, oh, you have colitis. And I said, oh, thank God. <laughs> Don't ask, literally. And I said, so how, they said, you just take, you're not, doctor left your prescription. I said, okay, great. How long, how many days do I have to take it? And they said, you have to take it forever. I'm like, what? What do you mean? 
It's chronic. I was um, 2011. Nobody in my family has colitis. It's usually genetic. There's nothing. I have eight brothers and sister, and not one of them have colitis. Not one. My mom and dad didn't have it. Nobody else had it. And it's supposed to be a genetic thing. So, don't know. So then, um, so I'm like, oh, okay. Well, so, okay, where was I? Oh, yeah. So once they told me I had to take it forever, I was completely shocked. I'm like, wait, what? And then, uh, um, out of here that's burnt too much so after this shock wore off um, I was taking some medicine that was relatively um, uh, not harmful right that lasted about a year or so and I was like mm -hmm, came back and I'm like well the medicine's not working you know, and then they said, well, that'll happen. I'm like, well, what do you mean? And they said, well, it'll happen. You know, it'll work for a while and then it won't work anymore. And I'm like, what kind of a medicine is that? <laughs> I was like, are you kidding me? So, I mean, this is all the realities of getting older. You learn all this stuff that you had no idea, you know, it even existed. Sorry, I'm still having my coffee. And so, yeah, lucky me. And then, um, so let's do this one a little backwards. So then, um, oh, I don't have to click more. I have more. And I'm not going to do my brush because it's basically the same. So, so yeah, so then, um, then I had to go to this really strong medicine. So check this out. This medicine that I'm, that I was taking, that I'm taking now, it's called 6MP, and it's basically a low dosage of the same medicine that they give to people that have had, um, uh, what do you call it? Transplants. Organ transplants. So they give it to these people that have organ transplants so that your bot they're anti re it's like an anti rejection medicine, right? And um so but it can give you cancer. And I had to sign all kinds of waivers, like lymphoma. So I had to sign all kinds of waivers in order to take this medicine and but I and it took me like forever I, I really fought over whether I wanted to to take it or not you know I'm like I don't want to get lymphoma but I got to the point where I could barely get to work and back um I my it was horrible I could I was the headaches were atrocious the stomach problems were unbearable um there's you know I had swollen hands and um Oh my God, and then they want to put you on prednisone, which I call the devil's tic-tac. I tried it one time and I was about ready to rip everybody's face off, including my own and my daughter's. And I'm like, I said, I'm not living like that. And he goes, you have to. And I said, no, I don't. I'm not taking that stuff. I refused it. So I stopped taking it. He said, well, you got it. So I just stopped taking it like within the first few days. That's how fast it acted like that with me. But it's a, um, you have to wean off of it usually, but I didn't have to because I was only on it for like five days when I realized I can't tolerate it. So thankfully, and knock wood, oh my God, knock wood, I don't want to go on that because it gives you moon face, you get really fat face, and you want to eat everything in that sight, you want to kill everybody. I mean, it's just the devil's tic-tac. It really is, you guys. It's horrible stuff. So anyway, um, I've so far refused to use that, and now that I've said it, I'm probably going to end up on it. That's probably what's going to happen, because my doctor told me the other day that I have too much, um, there's something about this, that 6MP, that anti-rejection um, medicine that I'm on. Um, I'm, I've got too much of it in my system, and so if, if I go into a flare, I can't up the dose. Well, things aren't looking good, and... Um, he said, unless we have to. So I'm going to try to be really careful. And that's a big fat lie. Yesterday I had pizza and a hamburger. Hello, big fat face here. So, which is, I don't normally eat that way. But with all of this um, work that I'm doing, I'm just too lazy to, yeah, I'm just, no excuses. I was just being bad. So anyway, and I haven't started out that day much better. I had some red potato dill salad, which has dairy in it. Potatoes aren't bad because there's no gluten. <clears throat> but I did buy some gluten-free um, spaghetti. And I have to tell you, the Barilla brand gluten-free, you cannot tell. You cannot tell it's gluten-free. So those of you that are have to eat gluten-free, don't, don't, 
don't freak out. You will love the Barilla um, pasta. It's really good. You can't even tell. You have to kind of eat it for, you can't, it's not the kind of like, you can't like redo it though. That's the only problem with it, I think. You have to heat, eat it now. Let me just go over these really quick. Yeah, I'm kind of not liking the messy, messy, mess, mess. I'm liking these better once I fix them up. All right, you know how I am. I have to r roll into it, figure things out as I go. You can tell I'm not an, an, an ace. Um, these look more like flowers than they do buttons, I think. And I think we'll roll with flowers instead of buttons. So, yeah, I'm not putting holes in them because I think they're super cute. So anyway, so yeah, after I realized I had a chronic illness, and now I have to take medicine for life. Um, and I looked at one of, one of the medicines. I can go online to the website that I get. I get them through um, online, most of them. Because I have to take like two or three different kinds. Yeah, I'm kind of a sick puppy. It sucks. But anyway, um, one of them's like $20,000 a year. And... Um, how can people afford that? Like, really? 20 grand a year? Who, who can afford that? I don't know who can afford that. I think this one's too light, you guys. I'm going to avoid it. So we're going to stick with this one. And these two colors are fine. Next time I do it, I'll do some, like, yellow and orange. I'll make little daisies. I'm going to do that. I don't think I have any left. Well, I don't know. But I'll, I'm gonna, I'll get some more eggs. <laughs> make some little daisies. Super cute. I'll do orange in the middle and yellow on the outside. And then you can just use them for like little elements. <laughs> See, I didn't need to talk about my lovely, debilitating, crappy, chronic problem today, but it is what it is. <laughs> so I do have to take it easy. So that's why I'm kind of taking a minute to relax. Like I got rid of all the magazines and now I have to take the books. I live upstairs in my upstairs condo and I have to, all these books and they're heavy, right? You know books. So I have to um, take them down stack at a time and that means going up and down the stairs, up and down the stairs. Yeah, my daughter will probably help me later. What should I do with this one? I don't know. I'm going to repaint it, though. Because I don't know what to do with it. But I don't like these. But we'll see. Sorry about the sniffles. It's so much dust kicked up the last couple of days. Maybe what I'll do with these is I'll make bigger ones. And then put... Because I do have... What the heck? That's nice. So I have bigger ones. And then put these... like You know what I mean? Because I do have this piece that I save because it's a little bit, you know, and I'll, I'll just make bigger ones. So that's what we'll do with those, but not right now. Hang on a second. I'm going to blow my nose. Sorry about that. Okay, so let me, let me I'm just going to touch up some of this a little bit. Let me, you can't listen to a word I say. I always change my mind, you know? Oh, I don't care if it's not perfect. And then look at me. Yeah. What else? Okay, so now I kind of want to go for it with some sparklies. And then I'll do that. These are cute. So if you look for your eggs, try to find the ones with those dented bottoms. I don't know if they all have them. I've never noticed them before, but. Okay. All right, close enough. Let me just smush this around. By the way, you guys, guess what? All those scraps, I couldn't, I can't afford to send them out, so I, I scrapped them. I don't have any scraps anymore, and I'm not keeping a big scrap thing anymore. Once it gets to a certain point, it's I'm done. I'm only going to keep like these, and if I need it, like then I'll cut it up and use it at the time. But other than that, all that delicious scrappy paper, watch, I'm, I'm saying this now, but watch, that's probably not going to, I'm probably going to end up, you know me, having scrap paper again. Because who wouldn't want, who doesn't really actually like scrap paper? Okay, let me. Yeah. 
Should I just Mod Podge the heck out of them, or what can I do? I don't want to squirt them with anything. And I don't want to... Yeah, I'm just going to Mod Podge with glitter. glitter. Glitter Podge, which is getting really thick, so I'm trying to use it up anyway. Glitter Podge. Gotta love it. What is that? See, it's got to get used up. That's going to be my excuse. I'm sticking to it. That's going to be so cute. A little glittery flower. Love it. So. And then I'll try to figure out something to do with these. Like I did the buttons, you know. What did I do with the buttons? I don't remember. Boy, that's the first thing to go is your memory. I'm telling you. 57 now, I'm closer to 60 than, I, than I've ever been. It's kind of a riot. Feeling pretty good, though, about it, you know? It's like... When I was a brat kid, I was about 16, I remember. 15, 16, something like that. I remember thinking that two, the year 20... The year 2000 sounded like... Remember, like, the year 2000? What was that movie with Hal and all that? Space Odyssey 2000 or something? I don't know. Anyway, it just seemed like so far off and I was a dark kid anyway I didn't think that um we'd make it <laughs> kind of kind of right but anyway um I didn't think that I'd make it I don't know why I was just I said if I make it to the year 2000 that's all I need this is what I said like what a little idiot I am right because I'd be 40 I'd be old <laughs> that's what I thought I said if I make it to 2000 I I will have lived a full life well 2000 came around I was 40, and I thought, what in the world was I thinking? Well, now I just, I don't want to make it as long as I'm healthier and not in pain and, you know, at least not in pain that's not manageable. I mean, who wants to live like that? But if it's manageable, um, you know, do your best to to manage it. You know, don't don't give up. Don't give up. These are pretty, huh? Kind of cute. Kind of cute. So anyway, yeah, this is what I'm doing. This is my birthday art. <laughs> and then I've got to, like I said, go through my kid's binder. And then I've got, you know, I took the um, dresser out of my room and gave her it so that I could make room for my craft space. And then um, I sold her dresser already. My garage door was open and one of the ladies that lives in the neighborhood said, are you having a garage sale? And I said, why is my dresser open? And she said, yeah. And I said, well, yeah, but we're not having it until in a while. And she said, um... Well, are you selling that white dresser that's in your garage? I said, well, yes. And she said, well, can we buy it? And I said, well, yes. And um, she said, how much? And I actually had it in Marketplace for 25 But her daughter was standing behind her. And she goes, well, my daughter wants it. And she's paying for it. She goes, what, what, how, how much? And I said, well, uh, I don't know. And I'm thinking, I should just give it to the kid. And I'm thinking, well, I don't know. Because my kid needs the money too, right? So I said, okay, 15 And so then the little girl said, well, Mom, I need to borrow $5. And I said, okay, make it 10. <laughs> so the little kid bought, bought her dresser. I said, you need to, uh, you know, paint it, honey. Because she, my daughter's had that since she was, like, brand new. Like, a baby baby. It's one that I pulled out of a garage sale myself. I don't remember what I paid, maybe 20 bucks. We've gotten our work, our, um, our, our use out of it. I don't know how much I paid. Maybe, 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 maybe more, maybe less. Anyway, um, doesn't matter. But, um... So now she's got that in there, and I've got to find homes in my other little dresser for the stuff that was in that dresser in my room. Which leads me to another thing. You know, when I was a kid, I had eight brothers and sisters, and finding socks at my house was nigh impossible. Like, impossible. And my mom gave up, and so she just had this huge drawer, built-in drawer, I don't remember, it was like in the kitchen believe it or not actually one was in the basement one was in the kitchen one time it was like a dining room area in the kitchen it's kind of a weird spot there had a lot of built-ins in portland portland real uh, homes but anyway so we had this huge sock drawer and she just instead of trying to she worked full-time and had all these kids i don't blame her because i don't like to do it either but so instead of having all of the um every you know everybody try to match all these socks 
she threw them all in a sock drawer. And if you wanted a sock, a pair of socks, you got to go in the sock drawer and match them yourself, right? Now, that was all fine and dandy, not a big deal, until the cat decided that that was the only place that she could have her kittens, <laughs> right? That happened more than once. Damn cats. So, anyway, um, with my kid, she's terrible with socks. She thinks they're a disposable item, right? And I got tired, really tired of doing the same thing. And I've only got one kid, and I got tired of doing it, so I had a huge sock drawer. Thank God my cat is spayed. But anyway, so I threw all of our socks together in a sock drawer in, my, in, in one of those drawers that was in the um, dresser that she took. So um, now I said, we're getting rid of the sock drawer because no, I'm not going to go digging through her room for socks. And I don't wear as many socks as she does. And I'm going to say, this is the deal. I'm going to take like, I'll get like 10 pairs or something. I don't wear socks that often. I wear, you know, flip-flops and sandals to work. So, um, she can have the sock drawer or she can do what I'm going to do. She can take out a bunch of socks, match them, and then we can just toss the rest into the donation pile. And she can have her, take. <laughs> she can be in charge of her own socks and I will be in charge. She's almost, she's 18 this month. It's time. We don't need a sock drawer. We're past that point, and so that is going to free up a drawer space for her. And I'll just keep a few in my space over here somewhere. So, I know, weird, right? I know, very weird. Yeah. Well, I'm sure there's been weirder things. I didn't even know there was an inside out to a sock until I was like 30. Don't laugh, don't judge, it's true had no idea I um just threw them on <laughs> I was dating somebody one time he goes why do you always put your socks on like inside out I go what do you mean inside out <laughs> there's no such thing he goes what do you mean there's no such thing and then he showed me he goes look I, <laughs> I never dawned on me I never noticed it yeah I'm really strange I am one strange cookie yeah so anyway these are turning out super cute Look, I'll show you. Oh, that one's well, that was cute. And there's Gracie's hair in it. I'll show you these. These are really turning out cute, you guys. I gotta put that in there because that's gonna look. Look how cute. And they're sparkly. So yeah, we have we have little flowers. Those are adorable. There's so much that we can do with these. They don't have to be done. You know, we could put like little black dots for this stemmin, stemmin, whatever it's called, you know. Don't laugh at me. Don't judge. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say. So that would be cute. Um, um, oh, I could sprinkle like some little kind of different colors, um, like right in the middle. So anyway, we'll revisit these another time and see what's going on. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this quick little video, which is my videos are never quick. And I chatted the heck out of you today because I'm, that's how I roll. And um, I hope that was fun. And I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day, okay? Happy Monday. Bye.